Let's reset any iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and it's running slowly or there are bugs or glitches, or you're getting ready to sell it, I'm gonna show you two different options. One is to force restart it, which resets a lot of different things, or you can do a factory reset. The first one, a force restart. You can do that by pressing the volume up, pressing the volume down, and then pressing holding that side button until you see that Apple logo. So I'll walk you through it. So volume up, volume down, and then press and hold. Now I'm gonna to continue to press and hold until I see the Apple logo appear, and then I'll remove my finger and it will force restart. So when I see that Apple logo like that, I will remove my finger and it will go through the process of force restarting it. Next, let's do a factory reset on your phone. The first thing that we will do is make sure it's been backed up recently. So I would recommend getting into your iCloud settings and the backup and make sure it was backed up recently. And you might wanna hit backup now just in case. After we've done that, it's straightforward to reset your iPhone back to factory default. All we need to do is get to transfer or reset. And then here you can see it says reset all settings. That is one option. But if you're giving away your phone and wanted to remove all of the content as well, you can tap on that. It says it will erase this iPhone. It will delete the apps, your Apple account, the Find My, the wallet items, and your eSIM. Just hit continue here and hit delete eSIM and erase data. And this will bring everything on your iPhone as if you just bought it from Apple.